But 28 says this, The resurrection after the Sabbath, towards the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Madeline and another Mary went to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven, and came and rolled that stone and sat on it. His appearance was, was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen. And he says, as he said, Come see the place where he lays. Then go quickly and tell the disciples that he has risen from the dead. Behold, he is going before you to Galilee. There, we, there you will see him. See, I have told you. So they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there, will be, and there they will see me. The report of the guard. While they were going, behold, some of the guard went to the city and told the chief priests all that had taken place. And when they had assembled the elders and taken counsel, they, had give, they, they gave a sufficient sum of money to the soldiers and said, Tell people his disciples came by night and stole him away while we were asleep. And if this comes to the governor's ears, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So they took the money and did as they were directed. And this Torah has been spread among the Jews to this day. So to the, basically, because these Jews right here in the Bible, what they lied, I mean, they lied. You know, Jesus had risen. He had, he, he proved he was God by rising from the dead and, and, you know, and, and, um, and appearing to people. And uh, you know, I can guarantee you this: no other God has done that. Only Jesus is. Only Jesus, who is it? Who is the true God? Has done that. No other God has done that. So these Jews tell these soldiers, "Look, don't tell people He has risen. Let's, let's basically let's just, let's just lie about it and go on with our lives." So to this day, because of what these Jews did back then, to this day, Jews today still don't believe Christ is God because because of these Jews they did back then. They lied, and now that lie has spread. So the Jews don't believe Christ is God because the the lies that these Jews have spread. It's sad. The Great Commission. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them, and when they saw him they worshipped him, but some had doubted, and Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on all, all earth has been given to me. Jesus is God. He controls everything that happens. Both good and, and evil. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. Behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. So, that's uh, chapter uh, 28. And you know, it, just, it, just, it, it shows you the love of God. It shows you the love of Christ. You know, it shows you the love of God through Christ. It proves that Christ is God. Through his uh, death and resurrection, um, it, it proves that it shows you how much Christ loves us to go through the torture that, that he went through. You know, it, 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 it cements that Jesus is God and there is no other God but him. Because he proved it through his death and resurrection. And, and of course, he lived a perfect life. You know, and, and it's just, you know, he is the true God. There is no other God but him. So that's 28. And I'll be up with uh, the book of Mark here shortly.